create a frame-by-frame -frame animation in Photoshop. Step one is to create a new document. The other documents we're using in Premiere and in After Effects are 1920 by 1080 at 72 pixels per inch. So this is my recent, but you would go to Film and Video and you're going to choose your first option there. You can name it now and go ahead and hit Create. Okay, here's our stage. To create the time, the to create the animation, I'm going to need out my timeline panel. That is the next step here. Um, the timeline panel is usually kind of docks down here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to keep mine fluid so I can keep bringing it up and down. You can grab it at any point at this line here. I'm going to create a video timeline by doing this. Now this layer then, um, I'm going to have two layers here. This is going to be my background layer. So if I call it background, if I title it here, it will title it there, right? So this is going to be my background. I'm going to save that for content that I want to animate or, or kind of draw colors I want to put in the background. Then I'm going to create the, the layer that I'm going to draw in. I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to go to video layers and I'm going to choose new blank video layer. All right. Now this new blank video layer is where all of the action is going to come from. So if I come down here just to explain a little bit about what's happening here in the timeline panel, this is zooming in, right? So it gives you an idea of like how long these things can be. So here I am zooming in. Um, this is the overall content. If I want it to be bigger or longer, I think Photoshop is limited to the size, unfortunately, but you can always create separate pieces and put them together. Um, and then, um, you can also drag and move these guys as well to kind of hone in on certain parts of the image. So I'm going to kind of bring that down um, because when I zoom in, I actually want to see frame by frame. So if I zoom out to this extent, you can see one frame, two frames, three frames, four frames. So because I created that, again, here's where it was, layer, video layer, new blank video layer, each frame brings in new content for my animation. So. Let's come down into here. Um, again, if I wanted to layer this, that's going to actually happen in my layers panel here. So you can see it's a video layer. And this is my animation, right? So my animation is going to be there. And maybe I'll put a background in the back. So now I'm, I'm kind of ready to go. This does open up if you wanted to play with um, position, opacity, or style. We're not going to experiment. We're just going to kind of work with the animation for the beginning portion of it here. Okay, so let me move it down to here. I want to make sure that I'm zoomed in. Actually, oh, actually, let me pull it back up. I want to make sure that I'm zoomed in so I could see frame by frame. That's kind of important here because I'm going to need to modify and move my piece as I go. Now, the other thing I want to set over here is I'm going to go over here to these three little lines. This is my menu of the panel, and I want to enable my onion skins. So I'm going to enable my onion skins. Now, onion skins show you before and after. And if I go to onion skin settings, I can choose how many frames before and how many frames after I'd like to see. And you can experiment with the opacity of it if it makes it easier for you to understand it or see it. And I, I can go back there. And I'll, I'll show you onion skins as I go. So I'm going to do a simple drawing. I'm going to take out my paintbrush here. I want to do a simple drawing. Here's my pencil tool. I want my brush tool. I'm going to do a simple, just a, a, a dude who's going to be waving his hand. Okay, so... The dude's head. I'm going to draw the dude's head. So this is in frame one at the beginning of my animation. This arm will just kind of be bent down. And this arm, I'm going to bend it up. And then he's going to, let's get a little hand in there. So we're going to, he's going to be waving at us. Okay. And I can even do like a little expression here. Um, actually, I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the expression at the end. So I'm going to move myself forward. Now notice how it grayed out. That's the onion skin. So in frame two, I'm going to draw this again. Okay. And this is my action that I'm going to be changing here. So now I want the hand. Now I can, th that's a pretty um, big jump that I just did. It's, it might be a little bit choppy. So what's nice is you can go in here and you can edit and you can change it here too. If you're like, nope, I want to do more of a fluid motion. And so I'm going to move myself right here and I'm going to play with this. So there's my next frame. So the next frame and you just continue going like this. So let me get a few frames out here so you can kind of see the animation happening. There's the next one. I can see if I go path, back, right? Kind of goes through my motion as my motion starts to go. Here's the next frame. Next frame. Whoops. It got too big. Command Z goes back. That's your keyboard shortcut to undo, right? So here we go again. All right, let's start to bring the hand back up again. I'm going to put it on a loop at the end here. Move forward. I'm going to have it getting a 
little wonky there, okay. Okay, so now if I go back and I play it, you see that he's kind of waving his hand back and forth. Okay, so I've gotten as far as here. So let's say I wanted to play this back, right? I want to play this back. I'm going to zoom out. Let me go boop, 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 boop. And I'm going to pull this guy back. Otherwise, it's going to go all the way through the rest of my frames, and I don't have content there at the rest of my frames. So I just kind of simplified it, and I brought it in. I should bring the background in, too, and keep those guys kind of lined up a little bit. Um, and I'm also going to set it now here. I want to set it to loop playback. So it's going to loop. It's going to do a loop. And I'm going to – I could turn the onion skins off. I'm going to leave them on so you can see how it does it. And let's go and see. Let's hit the play and see what that does. So let me pull this back up and pull this down and play. And there he is kind of waving. Okay, so if you want to see it truly how it would be, I'm going to enable the onion, take that off, disable the onion skids, and let me play that again, and there he is waving. Okay, now let's say you thought that the timing was happening too fast, right? Right now it's at 29.97 frames per second. I can adjust that, although all of the frames and the animations and the videos we've done previously are all, that's kind of a standard, the 29.97. But I can experiment. Here, set the timeline frame frame rate so I can change this to something else. You can experiment with going a little bit slower, a little bit faster, um, a little bit higher, like 30 frames per second, 50 frames per second. This is going to slow it down. Going lower is going to make it go faster. So now if I play it, you'll see that that's probably a more, I don't know, that's a, that's a better kind of frame rate there that we've got going on. Okay. And that is the, the gist of creating a, a simple frame-by-frame -frame animation in Photoshop. If you wanted to create another layer, you can kind of like, if I wanted this layer to come up here, I could have another action start to happen here. Um, or I could leave that where it was. Oops, I don't know if I could go back and put that back where it was. But you can have um, little kind of layers upon layers happening for different scenes if you wanted that to happen. If at any time you wanted to go back in and edit this, like let's say now I want to add my facial expressions here. So um, in frame one, let's say he's got just like, let, let's have his eyes open and close, right? So let's go here, frame one. Oops. Um, let me turn my onion skins back on. Okay, so frame one, frame two. Frame three. You know what, actually, probably would have to do that in another layer. Let's try that. Okay, so let's go um, image, I'm sorry, layer, um, video layers, new blank video layer. So this is one, it's going to be, see, that's right up below it, right? So this is going to be his eye. So if I did eye, eye. And I move myself forward, and the eye started to close. If I did this, and I could play that back, and that would do that as well. Okay, time to play. Let's see how you do.